Good day, I'm Nocturat Lamini with your Midday News updates. A Kenyan MP has been arrested for slapping a female lawmaker. EFF applauds Greek government for serving Adam Katavelos with summons. More arrests expected in Cape Town for Julian Road with his certificate case. A Kenyan member of parliament, Rashid Kasim, has been arrested for slapping a female lawmaker, saying she did not allocate funds for his constituency. A footage of Fatima Gedi with a bleeding mouth was circulating on social media. Gedi was attacked in parliamentary car park in Nairobi. Female MPs walked out of the chamber protesting they were being mocked by their male colleagues who said it was slapping day. It was reported that some male lawmakers said women needed to have better manners and to know how to treat men. The EFF said Greece was sending a strong message that the international community will not tolerate racism after Adam Gatavelos was served with summons and was facing prosecution in that country. A case of crime injuria was opened against the businessman in connection with a video he'd recorded using the K-word while he was on holiday on a Greek beach last year. Gatavelos appeared in the Randberg Magistrate Court yesterday where the case got postponed to July. The EFF's Mandi Samashiko laid the red beret as Katsavelos appeared in court. EFF said if needs be, they will follow the case all the way to Greece. Three men attached to the Epping Vehicle Center appeared in court yesterday where they were released on a 2,000 rand bill each on charges of fraud and corruption. Hawksburg person Pilani Nkwalase said two of the accused allegedly issued fraudulent certificates to a vehicle transporting leaders despite it not being deemed fit to be on the road. More arrests are expected. And now to your sports news updates with Andisi Wasikoko. Welcome to Chopek TV Sports News. My name is Andis Wasikoko. The Court of Switzerland has rejected the IWF agent request to be allowed to immediately reimpose its eligibility regulations on Casta Semenya. In an order issued on 12th this month, the Swiss Supreme Court upheld its prior order issued by the court on May 31st in favor of Semenya. The Supreme Court's prior order requires the IWF to immediately suspend the implementation of its eligibility regulations against Semenya in light of the athletes' pending appeal. In football news, Belgium star Eden Hazard was unveiled at the Saint-Jacques Bernabeu yesterday as around 50,000 supporters attended the welcoming of the player who they hope will launch a glorious new era under Zinedine Zidane. The 28-year-old Hazard was presented with the home shirt which was without a number by club president. Hazard said it was his dream since he was young to play for Real Madrid and now he is here. And lastly, in cricket news, South Africa have no room left for error in 2019 World Cup campaign. With no wins and a single log point to show for their effort after four games so far in the tournament. Tomorrow's clash against Afghanistan in Cardiff is a must win for Proteas. Their Mikles order batsman Rasifan Titasen says that players are treating the last five remaining matches as quarterfinals. That's all from Sports News. Goodbye. Let's have a look at your traffic and weather updates. Now let's take a look at your traffic and weather updates. Starting off in Glen Vista, you can expect delays on Clip River Drive North towards Van Beek Avenue. And in Valdefreden Park, there is a multi-vehicle crash on the N1 southbound before Bayes Nodier Drive. And you can also expect delays in that area. And in your weather updates, Joburg CBD is at a high of 17 degrees Celsius, Benoni is at a high of 16 degrees Celsius, and Soweto is at 18 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. That's it from me and the Joburg TV news team. Catch your next bulletin in the evening. Goodbye.